Hello everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful summer. Today I'm going to be reading you a wonderful book. This book is going to be about vegetables and fruits and gardens. By the way, my name is Miss Curie. The book is called Plate Full of Color, written by Georgia Perez, illustrated by Patrick Brollo and Lisa A. Feefield. I hope you enjoy this book as much as I did. Rain clouds were starting to roll in over the village. Rain that dances looked at the sky as he ran to the center of the village. He was meeting his friends, Thundercloud, Simon, and Little Hummingbird. Simon had just moved into a home not far from the village. Little Hummingbird lived just across the river. It may rain today. We may not have not much time to meet the great bird, thought Rain that dances. yelled Rain that dances as he saw his friends. We better hurry before the rain starts, he said. Simon and Little Hummingbird ran behind their friends. I cannot wait to meet Mr. Eagle, said Little Hummingbird. Me too, said Simon. They got closer to the tree stump. They could see Mr. Eagle. They could also see a rabbit with him. We are here, said Rain that dances. The great bird flapped his wings with joy. The rabbit hopped around the tree stump. We are happy to see all of you. Today, Miss Rabbit will tell you many things that you can do to stay strong and healthy, said the eagle. The children qu quickly sat around the tree stump. They listened as Miss Rabbit began to talk. Have you ever heard your grandparents speak about Mother Earth? Miss Rabbit asked. Little Hummingbird raised her hand like she did in school. My grandmother has told me many times that I need to take care of Mother Earth she said. Your grandmother is a very wise woman, said Miss Rabbit. You have to take care of Mother Earth because she gives us many gifts. The children looked at the rabbit and then at each other. Simon, lifting his hand, asked, What do you mean by gifts? Rain that dances, Little Hummingbird, and Thundercloud also wanted to know. Miss Rabbit said, Mr. Eagle tells you how you need to play and have fun and keep your body moving. You would not be able to do that if you did not have Mother Earth to walk upon. That is a gift. Walking and running on Mother Earth helps keep your spirit strong. Then the rabbit hopped over to a flower that was growing by the children. You see this flower, she said. The children nodded their heads. This flower is also a gift from Mother Earth. She grows flowers of many colors for you to enjoy. What else does she give you? Miss Rabbit asked. The children looked around and saw the trees and the grass. I guess she gives us things that grow, said Rain that dances. The rabbit jumped and said, you are right, Rain that dances. She also gives us food to eat and water that helps the food to grow. I want to tell you about these foods now. What do you think I eat? Asked Miss Rabbit. Rain that dances says, I know, you eat grass. Simon smiled and said, you eat carrots. I have seen you in my grandmother's garden eating the carrots. Little hummingbird added, I have seen you in the garden too. The rabbit laughed and said, I guess I have eaten from many gardens in the village. I eat from the gardens because I want to stay healthy. I also like what grows in the gardens. Thundercloud made a face and said, I will not eat things from the garden. Those are for rabbits. Miss Rabbit quickly hopped around and then stopped. She said, the fruits and vegetables that grow in the gardens are food for you to eat too. They are very good for all of us. Let's think of what is in the garden, Miss Rabbit said. What is growing there? The children thought for a short time. They said, carrots, green beans, squash, cucumbers, pumpkins, corn, and watermelons. You are right. I have eaten many of these things, replied Miss Rabbit. And what else have you seen growing? We have apple trees in our yard, said Little Hummingbird. Simon patted his stomach and said, My grandmother has wild strawberries and grapes growing in her yard. Mother Earth grows the fruits and vegetables for us to eat. Have you eaten many of these fruits and vegetables, Miss Rabbit asked? I have, said Little Hummingbird. Me too, especially the strawberries, laughed Simon. 
I like to eat corn, said Rain that dances. Thundercloud did not say a word. Miss Rabbit and Mr. Eagle looked at Thundercloud and asked, do you not eat any of these things? With his head down, Thundercloud said in a whisper, I eat some fruits, but I do not like vegetables. And I do not eat vegetables that grow in the garden. My mom gets vegetables from the store. Miss Rabbit hopped over to Thundercloud and said, you can get vegetables from the store, but first the vegetables have to grow from someone's garden. Just as Mother Earth gives us flowers of many colors, she also gives us fruits and vegetables of many colors. Carrots are orange, squash is green or yellow. Tomatoes, apples, and strawberries are red. Grapes and plums are purple. Green beans are green, cucumbers are green, and pumpkins are orange. Why are we talking about fruits and vegetables anyway? Thundercloud asked. The rabbit answered, because it's important that growing children eat enough fruits and vegetables every day to grow strong. You told us that you do not like vegetables. Have you ever tasted vegetables? Miss Rabbit asked. Thundercloud. No, I don't think they taste good. I just like the other food my mom makes, Thundercloud said. The rabbit placed her front paw on the boy's lap. She said, you will never know how they taste unless you taste them to find out. Can I ask you to take one bite of a vegetable to taste it? Asked Miss Rabbit. Okay, said Thundercloud. I will try. I want to be healthy like my friends. Pick out vegetables of different colors and try one at a time. You, might, you may find some that you like. After all, different colors have different tastes. Does corn taste like carrots? Asked Miss Rabbit. No, the children answered. Eating all kinds of fruits and vegetables is good for all of us, said Miss Rabbit. But how can we eat that many fruits and vegetables each day? Asked Rain that dances. Simon, Thundercloud, and Little Hummingbird also wanted to know. The rabbit answered. You can eat fruits at breakfast and fruits and vegetables at lunchtime. You can have a fruit or a vegetable for a snack and you can have them for supper. Think of making your plate full of color. It will get easy when you do it for a while. Every time you eat can be a time to eat a fruit or a vegetable. Rain that dances jumped up and said, you are right. I like to eat all the time. For a snack, I can eat some strawberries instead of a cookie. Simon said, I can eat sliced cucumbers instead of potato chips. Little Hummingbird said, I can eat grapes or a plum instead of candy. Thundercloud stayed sitting down and did not say a word. Mr. Eagle, Miss Rabbit, and the children looked at him. They asked, what can you do to eat a vegetable, Thundercloud? Thundercloud slowly stood up. He kicked at the dirt and smiled. I guess I can try to eat some carrot sticks. Yeah, we can do it, yelled the children as they danced around Mr. Eagle and Miss Rabbit. Yes, you can. Now you can. Now you better start from home before the rain begins to fall. Come back tomorrow. I will tell you more ways to stay healthy and strong, said the eagle. Goodbye and thank you, Mr. Eagle and Miss Rabbit. We will be here tomorrow, said the children as they left for home.